hello this is your girl mama with a mouth with another episode of 886 that okay the um the question came in um to me they want to know um whether or not you know a person know when they're being used you know and of course uh i feel that everyone has gotten used in their lifetime you know what i'm saying whether you uh, understood whether or not you were getting used or whether or not you did not understand whether or not you were getting used um so i came up with the 10 ways that you know whether or not you are being used well the first way is um and this is of course in a relationship um they don't involve you in their life you know and um a, a lot of us can say that we have been through that where um a lot of times that the people didn't involve them you know you go out to do things you know daily activities and stuff like that or you know you um had special events or you had family events or something like that and you did not involve you know that person that you were with you know so um my my thing is um they want to talk and rag at you for not being there for them or you know not bringing nothing to the table but <laughs> um excuse me uh if you don't bring nothing to the table then so don't sit down okay <laughs> yeah now see the thing about it is i brought the chicken did you not bring me a fork or a spoon <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then don't go pulling out the plastic well I'm trying to say you brought something let's get plastic well no, baby, no, no. I deal in fine china. Do you see it? <laughs> Made in China. This is the good stuff. This is the expensive stuff. You want to know why? Because I'm valuable. Come on now. I, I, I mean, you want to pull out the dog on plastic? Well, where this going to get you? Come on now. Then you got the nerve to sit here, humble son. I ain't bring nothing to the table. You don't want to bring nothing to the table too. Well, when the relationship is over, uh, guess what? You can be excused from the dinner table because guess what? I brought the table. <laughs> Since you don't want to participate, guess what? You can be excused. You sure can. Hmm. Didn't want to sit here and come and ask me whether or not this seat taken. Yeah, the seat taken. Come on now. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Well, if I brought the table and you just sitting there, okay, you don't want to involve me in your life or nothing that's happening and nothing that's going on, then you want to sit here and take advantage of me and then try to make it seem like everything is my fault. And um, There are other people that can sit and eat at the table that can benefit since you decided that you didn't want to. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Come on now. I tell you what. Go ahead. Since I brought the chicken and you brought that old flimsy plastic, well, no. You ain't finna enjoy no three course meal. No. Uh uh. Like I said, because there's other people that can benefit. So I want you to go ahead and get your one drumstick and get the hell away from my table. How about that? That's how we're going to handle that. <laughs> okay, number two. The only thing they want to do is just have sex. <laughs> Serious? Now, trust and believe, we've all been in that, you know, situation before where you just had a relationship with nothing but sex. Nothing but hot, steamy sex. So every time you turned around, it was nothing but sex, sex, sex. That let me know you ain't thinking about me. Only thing you want is some of the goods. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Now, I'm not talking about uh, a specific gender here. No. I'm talking about male and female because the males have been used just like the females have been used. You get what I'm saying? So we're not talking about just one, one, one gender. Mm -mm, we're talking about both. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you decide how the shoe fit. And however it fit, okay, cool, wear it. You know? But if all I want to do is have sex and see, I've been in, I could say about <laughs> four or five relationships like that, especially with me being young, where, you know, all it, it was it was about nothing but sex. But see, you had to do what you had to do and say what you had to say in order to lure me, in order for you to be able to get that. Well, no, baby, you should have just told me that from the beginning. Hey, I tell you what, you know, you find this wine, blah, blah, blah. I just, you know, you got a big booty on you. You know, I just want to have sex. Okay, cool. Well, if you so fine that you can piss on a swinging hot sauce bottle, then okay. <laughs> Not a problem. But don't lie. Just tell me what you want from the beginning and you get what I'm saying. And let me make that decision on whether or not I want to, you know, participate in that that you're trying to do. Because I may be down with just having the sex. You get what I'm saying? And, and that be it for our relationship. You get what I'm saying? But don't just use me just for that particular reason, uh, uh you know, alone. You get what I'm saying? Cause trust and believe, baby. Like I said, you want to run right here and you want to come, you want to have sex for the whole weekend and all this other stuff, whatever. Well, you could have just said that. Cause
But trust and believe, baby, I'm too old for slumber parties. So you get what I'm saying? I am entirely too old for that. So say what you mean and mean what you say. And let's get it on. Let's go ahead and do what we're going to do. You get what I'm saying? Okay. For number three. Is the uh, only time they call you is when they need something or they need you or they want something from you. Okay, well, that's another thing right there. Um, the the table of ignorance is only for a minute. So, um, what we're going to do is pick that table up right now and we're going to talk. Because the the thing about it is uh, education is expensive, but so is ignorance. You get what I'm saying? So, you want to be able to know, you know, uh, what they know. Or you want to be able to know what's going on in the situation. You get what I'm saying? Because if you don't know what's happening, you don't know what's going on, then, you know, that ignorance can't, you know, really cost you. So, you have um, people that, I said that in one of my other videos where it was this guy that um all he was doing was basically just using the girl. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, um, he only called her for sex. He only called her um, when he wanted some money. He knew to call her on payday. You know, he called her when he uh, needed some money or he called her when he needed a new pair of shoes or, you know, he called her just basically so he can, you know, get what he can get from her. You know, instead of just saying, hey, um, I'm going to need you for a few things or whatever, blah, 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 you know, um, I, I got a big one, you know what I'm saying? I know I can lay the pipe, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can exchange the pipe for I know the, the, the services that you're going to give me, this and this and that. Like I said, whatever happens to honesty, just just go ahead and say what you mean and mean what you say because that's how feelings get hurt. That's how people get killed when you go to saying stuff or when you go to doing stuff that you didn't alert the other person on what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I feel that if we're all grown and you say what you mean and you mean what you say, then, uh, like I said, give me that opportunity to be able to agree or disagree with, you know, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Okay, uh, number four is um, they don't care about your needs, opinions, or your concern. Well, uh, the thing about it is we teach people uh, how we want to be treated and how we are willing to be accepted. You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't care about my needs or my opinions or my concerns, then why are we together? You get what I'm saying? So anytime I bring up something or anytime I say something and you don't want to hear it or, you know, um, you want to dismiss it or you want to put it on the back burner, like I said, what, what am I here for? You know, what's the purpose and the point of the relationship or what's the purpose of the point of me being here? Because like I said, that goes back to uh, number, number two and three. If you just want to use me for sex, then okay, say you just want to use me for sex or... You know, if you just want to call me anytime you need something or anytime you just want something, you know, let's just let it be at that, you know, and that, and that alone. You know, so um, if you're in a relationship and, you know, you're looking for a partner or a soulmate, you get what I'm saying, then that person's uh, opinions and needs and concerns, all of that have to be taken into consideration because, you know, that's the person that you know that you want to be with. So you're going to have to, that's, that's part of the whole 50-50 thing. That's part of the whole communication, you know, thing right there is knowing that you can listen to my needs and my concerns and my, um, my wants. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be compassionate towards another person on that one. But, you know, if you're not listening to any of those things or if you don't, um, if you don't, um, want to hear an opinion or anything like that coming from me, then that just let me know you being you, you want what you want, how you want it, when you want it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And the fifth one is, um, they don't express or demonstrate, uh, their love for you. Okay. Well, if you don't express or demonstrate, you know, your love for me, then that means that of course this relationship is, is pretty much dead. And to them, you are dead. You get what I'm saying? You are like totally dead. And trust and believe, you know, dead rats don't squeak. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? So, uh, that means that they done put you far away from their man. You get what I'm saying? So, if, if you're not expressing any kind of love, but, you know, a lot of people may try to argue me down and say, well, yeah, my, um, you know, such and such love me. And, you know, they don't say it or they don't, um, tell me all the time, you know, but they do little things for me. And, uh, okay, that's that's a form of expression if they're buying the flowers paying the bills you know uh you know it's you know let's just say hugging on you or something like that and they just don't tell you it's a form of expression you know but the full expression would be you telling me because you can you can do do those things you can express those things um you know physically you can express those things you know as far as like materialistically but if you don't express it verbally, you know, that's really not too tough telling me anything. You get what I'm saying? Because um, a lot of people have has to hear it, you know what I'm saying, as well as you doing, you know, expressing it, doing it um, materialistically or, you know, you expressing it, you know, physically or something like that. So, um, you know, like I said, the, the, the thing about that, um, you know, when they don't express or demonstrate it, you know, like I said, you... you 
you you can tell but you can't tell you get what i'm saying so you i mean those just one of those um conversations that you're just gonna have to have okay babe we've been together for a year you've never said you love me you know do you love me or this, ain't nobody gonna be with you for the whole year you know telling me you love me. you know what i'm saying now, i can scratch you out for six months you know before you have said i love you and i'm gonna be <laughs> baby what's going on you we in this together because you ain't said i love you you know what I'm saying? So I, I give you a while because, you know, everybody don't fall in love fast. You know what I'm saying? It takes, you know, a while or it takes some months, but it shouldn't take an entire year and you have not said the word I love you. Um, like I said, I, I think I was in maybe um, three relationships where the guy never told me I love you. But at the same time, he, he did express it, you know, with uh, other, other ways he expressed it, but he never said it. And, you know, um, I knew... Like where his where he worked, I knew his schedule. I knew where he would go before and after work. I mean, I I, I didn't have to you know stalk him and go places and you know follow behind him and anything like that. No, I didn't. But I knew everything that I needed to know you know about him. I mean, uh, if he would be a fool to do anything for real to tell you the truth, because I mean, I already knew like I said everything the schedule and all that. You you know what I'm saying? So um, he would have got caught you know even if he did. But you know he felt that his form of expression was the fact that even though he never told me. Um, he, you know, I knew everything. I knew where he was at, at all times and stuff like that. But see, like I was telling him, now you you're gonna have to tell me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, he bought flowers or whatever. You know, he bought me something to eat and all that. But I mean, uh, you know, he fed me anytime I was there. You know, with him or in his company or at his house or you you know something like that. Or you know, he bought me a necklace and you know, you bought little little trinkets and stuff like that. I mean, that's all fine and dandy. But at the same time, I still want to hear you say I love you. And then the first thing that came out of his mouth was, uh, I thought you knew I. I loved you i mean you knew everything and you know i bought this and i bought that i did this and i did that oh, okay yeah um now one time did you offer to pay a bill you know what i'm saying now one time did you say i love you you know i mean it's it, there are other things that i look for or that another woman may look for or that another man may look for you know uh, as far as like for an expression, you get what I'm saying? So everybody's expression is totally different. Like I said, that's one of the things where you just want to really, really have to ask, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, even now you got couples that's been married for 30, 40 years and you know, the, uh, they, they may say that the wife or the husband may say to them, I love you once a year. But at the same time, you know that they will take a bullet for them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, those one of those things where, like I said, you're just really going to have to, you know, really get involved and you're going to have to ask. But um, those were the first five. The next five will be coming um, to you very soon. This is your girl, Mama Motormouth. I love you guys and peace.